Rapunzel's story. Long ago, a king and queen had a baby daughter named Rapunzel. What her devoted parents didn't know was that Rapunzel's golden hair contained magical healing powers. A selfish old woman named Mother Gothel knew of the magic in Rapunzel's hair and wanted it to keep herself young. So she kidnapped the baby and raised her in a tower deep in the woods, never telling her that she was a princess. As Rapunzel's hair grew and grew, she loved gazing out the tower window at the lights that floated in the night sky every year on her birthday. She longed to leave the tower and see them up close, but Mother Gothel refused. Meanwhile, a young thief named Flynn Rider had stolen something special from the king's castle, and the royal guards were after him. Suddenly, he saw the perfect hiding place, a tower. When Flynn Rider climbed into the tower, Rapunzel knocked him out with a frying pan. Then she secretly inspected the satchel he carried. Inside, Rapunzel found a sparkling gold object. It was so familiar. Flynn Rider awoke and found himself tied to a chair with Rapunzel's long, golden hair. Rapunzel pointed to her painting of the floating lights. Tomorrow was her 18th birthday. If Flynn took her to see the lights, she'd return his satchel. After Flynn agreed to help, Rapunzel used her hair to climb down from the tower. She'd never been outside before. But when her feet touched the grass, Rapunzel nearly burst with excitement, exclaiming, Wahoo! Rapunzel and Flynn enjoyed their adventure, but they were being chased. Mother Gothel was looking for them. The royal guards were after Flynn, and so were his angry partners in crime. They wanted the crown. Days passed, and Rapunzel and Flynn managed to escape their pursuers. One morning, Rapunzel saw a breathtaking sight, a beautiful kingdom with a castle sitting high above. She headed straight to it. In the town, Rapunzel was drawn to a painting of the king, the queen, and their baby, who was known as the Lost Princess. The child had golden hair and green eyes. Just like her, Flynn rode Rapunzel out to view the floating lights, which were actually lanterns. Flynn gave Rapunzel her own lantern to send into the night, and she returned the crown. Then the couple gazed into each other's eyes. They were falling in love. Later, Flynn and Rapunzel were separated. Mother Gothel told Rapunzel that Flynn had only wanted the crown. But she realized Mother Gothel was lying. Rapunzel now knew that she was the lost princess. Suddenly, Flynn arrived to rescue Rapunzel. But Mother Gothel hurt him badly. She wanted Rapunzel to stay with her forever. If she did, she'd allow Rapunzel to heal Flynn. But before Rapunzel could act, Flynn cut off her hair, which lost its magic. Without the magic, Mother Gothel quickly aged and turned to dust. Rapunzel was now free, but Flynn was dying. You are my new dream, he whispered. One of Rapunzel's tears fell on Flynn and began to glow. And healed him. Flynn brought Rapunzel back to the castle. The king and queen rushed to embrace their lost princess. That night, the entire kingdom celebrated her return by launching hundreds of lanterns, the lights that had guided her home.